Okay, so I used for base Gold Blast Moisture and Control um, Shampoo, and I use the Gold Blast because it repairs and restores the hair, and I like to use it for my blondes because doing all those highlights can be pretty drying. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and towel blot her really well before I mix her gloss. And the gloss that I apply will be sealing the cuticle down, giving the hair shine and repairing it. And then it also shifts the tone of the hair so that it's not just like raw blonde highlights. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the gloss at her base first. And this one is just slightly darker than our second one, and then this one is going on just the end so that it pops a little bit brighter. So with this color applicator, I'll shake it downward and then I'm gonna go right along the hairline first. And then I'll use the nozzle to kind of like do partings, squeeze and pull back towards the hairline. And then before moving on, I'll go in and work this throughout the base and make sure that everything's fully saturated. Okay, and then I lift her head and I'm just gonna tilt you to the right first. You can rest back down. And then I'm doing the same thing down underneath where I'm gonna go ahead and put this right at the hairline. Use the nozzle, pull back towards it. And then make sure to really get in there and wiggle it in so that everything's saturated there. and then rotating back to the left. And then I'm gonna lift her up and really work it into the nape section. And then I'm gonna kind of like push her hair to the side, take the applicator bottle and get a lot of the product down into her crown section because that gets left out a lot of the time. And then you'll get your client back to the sham or back to the stylist chair. And then when you go to blow them dry, you'll realize that you missed that section and then it hasn't toned it. So it just looks more brassy. And then I'm going to drop it back down. And then before I apply the color on the ends, I'm going to take a color comb. This is a Rococo one. This is my favorite because it actually bends um, with the shape of the head and it doesn't pull the hair too much. And I'm just going to comb it, comb the product into the hair so that everything is covered. Rotate her again. And then just for reassurance, I'll go in one more time and just kind of like massage everything in. And then I shook up the base color since it is a little bit different or darker first, just to know for sure which is which. So then when I come over here, I'm like, okay, so this is the one that's going on first. And then I leave the one that's going on the ends and I don't shake it up until I'm right about to apply it. Because there's a lot of times you might get over here and be like, 
Well, I don't know which one is it, which you definitely do not want to accidentally put the lighter color at the base and then the darker one on the ends. And then this color comes out looking hot pink, which is very deceiving, but it definitely will not be pink on her hair. And then this one, I'm just kind of like spraying throughout and then working into the hair. So these kind of just like melt together. You don't have to worry about them layering like over top of each other. Rotator, make sure I'm getting this bottom portion because these little pieces get left out a lot as well. Okay, so we'll give that just a couple of minutes and then I'll rinse and condition and then we can go ahead and do the blowout. Okay, so first I'm going to use for base priming lotion. So this is a leave-in conditioner and a detangler. And so it's just a cream. It doesn't spray in. I'm just going to put like a little dollop in my hand and then I'll work this throughout her hair before I brush it out. And then I'm going to put just a little bit more up top. You don't need very much of this product. A little goes a long way, so don't go too heavy with it, and then it will last a long time too. I'll put just a little bit up here. And I'm not putting it like right onto her root or up on her scalp, but I can go pretty close to it. And it's not gonna get way too heavy. And then for my brush, I'm using a ball main brush. So this one is 100% boar hair mixed with nylon. So it's designed to get through tangles without breaking the hair. And then once you get up to the base, it takes your natural oils and disperses them down through the hair. So this one isn't as damaging as like a typical flat brush. And then it feels really good on the scalp too. Okay, so now that I've got her hair brushed out smooth and got my tangles out, I'm gonna use two drops of Orbe's Gold Blessed Oil. So this will just add extra moisture and shine. And it's really great to layer over the primer, especially for blondes that need a little extra moisture. And then also living in such a dry climate, like in Montana. So this is good for most people's hair. And I kind of apply this from like mid strand down. And then in the front where these pieces get pretty Pores to frame the face, I'll bring these up just a little bit higher. Okay, and then the last product that I want to add before I start her blowout is the Maximista Thickening Spray, and I'm just gonna mist a little bit of that in up at her root. So just kind of like right in here, just to give her like a tiny bit of body. Okay, so this is Orbe's Maximista. Kind of just go in like little sections and mist a little bit into the hair. And you can spray this throughout the hair if you wanna have a little bit of more um, volume for the rest, but I just like to put it right up in the base. Okay, perfect. So now I can go ahead and just dry the hair.
Okay, so I just removed about 70% of the moisture first and just did like a rough blow dry. And then now I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and I'll be kind of like pulling the hair away from her hairline to get a little bit of body and pull the wave out just like right through here if she had any curl. And then I'll be lifting certain sections, blow drying it away from the scalp. And basically that'll create a little bit of body, um, kind of smoothness, softness, without needing to use a round brush. So this would be considered a flat brush blow out. So we have her hair completely dry now, finished the flat brush blowout, and then I'm just gonna go through for this first look and just smooth the ends a little bit. Okay, so her hair is really smooth after the blowout. So now I'm gonna go through and put just like a loose wave through. So I'm gonna use my Hot Tools Marcel curling iron and this one is an inch and a quarter. And I just start out by taking a little section on the side and using a duckbill clip to pin this out of the way so that I don't put any dents in the hair up here. And then I'll just go ahead and start curling the hair. With this first piece at the hairline, I'm gonna curl this away from the face. And then and same with up here and same on the other side. So all the pieces in the very front will be curled away from the face. And then throughout the rest of the head, I'll be alternating to curl like this backward. The next one I'm gonna curl forward and I'm gonna rotate back and forth and that creates a little bit more of like a natural loose beachy wave. I'm leaving the last about an inch and a half out so that that will remain straight and then I twirl the hair in my fingers to lock in the heat. Curling this side, I'm gonna drop this top section down and then I'll start curling that and then I'll move to that last section on her left side.
Okay, so I curled her hair and let the heat set out of it so it's nice and cool now. And then I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb and just like gently kind of break through here to loosen these little curls. After I have combed that out, I like to spray a little bit of Orbeez Dry texturizing spray into it, just to kind of like rough it up a little bit and give it more texture. So I'm gonna start in the bottom. Sometimes I'll section this and put a lot throughout. And then on her, I don't want to put too much in there today. I don't think she needs it. So I'm just going to spray a little up top, kind of move that around and get a little bit in there to kind of like make it a little bit more messy and undone. so much for watching and stay tuned for more tricks and tips.